Here you'd be more fun. Yeah, I really hope it happens. I've never even seen footage of one. Well, look out for the right of the heart. It'll be significantly dilated. Wonderful. Hey, do you want me to ask Mr Hope if you can scrub in too? No. I'm having far too much fun here. Go and talk to her. Why not? There's no point. Anyway, I'm on duty. You end it with Scott yet? Skillful change of subject. No. Not yet. Come in. 67. The number of times you've done a pulmonary endarterectomy. The procedure that should be underway right now. Your point being? You know that a surgeon without at least 100 under their belt lowers the survival rate by up to 5%. Again, I presume you have a point. Elliot, you can put Charlie on ECMO for as long as you like, but it is you that will have to do the procedure. Are you suggesting that I am avoiding operating? I'm simply wondering out loud. You look exhausted. I'm fine. Maybe there's someone else that can do it. Nick, I said I'm fine. Well, then grab a strong coffee and come and save Charlie. Yes. Sorry, Mr. Hope, but his sat down and his breathing's getting worse. Thank you, Dr. Valentine. Looks like we're discussing a moot point. It's not personal, Elliot. Nick, the last time you were here, you gave everyone a piece of your mind. Maybe your time might best be spent apologising to those you insulted rather than undermining me. Life is too short for apologies, Elliot. I prefer to live in the here and now. 59. My success rate. Yes, sorry. Um, could you page Mr. Byrne, please, and prep Theatre One? Thank you. Charlie. Hi. We've got your results. You have a recurring embolism, which has thickened your arteries. Mr. Byrne and I have decided that the best route forwards would be a pulmonary endarterectomy. I get the feeling that this doesn't come as a surprise to you. Glad it's you. Come in. Um, excuse me. Uh, right. Jenna? This is Nurse Kendall. She's going to take you downstairs to get you checked up. What are you doing to him? Oh, it's just a little spring clean of the heart. We're going to remove all the build-up that's causing him problems. It's nothing to worry about. OK. What are you really doing to him? They're going to open up his chest, freeze him to 18 degrees, stop the blood flow and remove plaque from his arteries. OK? Right, let's go. She did ask. It's a walk in the park. You don't lie to me. I'm not a little child. Come, come on. Elliot, could I have a word outside, please? I read a paper recently where the advice was to close the artery using a patch as opposed to sutures. Based on how many cases? Fifteen or so. Well, it is my understanding that patches increase the risk of infection. I will base this procedure on what has worked best for me in the past. Elliot, don't you think we should move with the times? We? Mr Jordan, please don't be under the misguided assumption that you have any connection with this department. You are but a bad memory with no influence here whatsoever. Now let me do my job. Still here, Joseph. I thought your family connections would have elevated you by now. You weren't there when I woke up? No. No, it's about the interview. You'll do fine. And, and what do they look like? What did they say who they were? Oh, they rang here as well. Paddy. Uh, 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 oh, could you? That would be great. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Tandy. 
Why are you on, Mr. Lewis? It's just a cautious approach. I had a patient recently who had an AVR and developed clotting problems. And you really think I need a CT registrar with me for that? Oh, I can monitor the hemostasis. Look, Tandy, the patient isn't at any risk. Right, um, would you prep Mr. Lewis for theatre as soon as possible, please? sharing the interview committee today. You can give me five pounds, I'll feed you the answers. Oh, I think I'll manage. Thanks, anyway. All right, well, then how about I give you five pounds and you fill that in for me? <sighs> Hello, Jack. I don't often get the chance to come up and pay a visit. Oh, you've, uh, spilt a bit. I'm surprised I haven't seen you sooner. Well, I'm busy, aren't I? Running the ED. There was a little matter of, uh... Mm, the brain tumour, I heard. I like your outfit. Great power player. Interview? Consultant? On Darwin. Not that it's any of your business. Really? Yes, I have to go now. Yes, likewise. Good luck with the interview. I hope changing specialities changes your luck. I know that Penny would really benefit from being in there, Mr. Hope, as will I. I'm not rewarding her behaviour. I understand. I know that what she did was unforgivable, but that's why she has to retake her rotation. I just hoped it didn't apply to the privilege of medical experience. Fine. She stays out of the way, though. Thanks. Really. Kids, eh? What's the delay? Jordan said you were considering ECMO. Mr. Jordan still says too much. My first instinct was to buy some time. He's still in there, isn't he? Who is? The nervous boy I met at medical school. I occasionally hear his voice, but now we're here, I have every confidence that this procedure will go as smoothly as something really smooth, like ice. I wish Louis was here. Make you better, Charlie. My family's a son who hates me. Outside of work, I've got nothing really. Now my body's preventing me doing the job. I'm not afraid of you, Elliot. I'm afraid of me. Hey, no, enough of that. I'm tired. You'll be back in ED in three months' time. Sorting out everyone's problems. If I don't come through this, you're not to blame yourself, you understand? Don't talk like that. I mean it. You okay? Did you get into trouble? I have to repeat my rotation. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. No. No, it is. It's because of me. No. I mean, you're nailed it, though, Penny. I mean, you're, you're a great doctor. Listen, I have something to say. Don't. Don't what? Say it. You don't even know what I'm going to say yet. That it's over because they held you back. Don't be silly. That wasn't what I was going to say at all. You should have told me the moment that you heard. It's not for definite. I spoke to my neighbour and rang here, but they didn't say who they were. Well, of course not. It's the Home Office. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. No, no, no. It makes sense. They would check now. You're three years nearly out. I know. 
if they find out, it's both of us, it'd be 